right guys, I am dressed like Mrs. Claus because we are nearing one of my favourite times of the year, crimbo. And as part of Christmas, what do you do? You overeat, you overindulge and you have an overly brilliant time. Today we are making two of my favourite recipes from different parts of the year, uniting together into one spectacular, joyous recipe. Chocolate brownies flavoured with mulled wine. That's right, all of those lovely, familiar Christmas spices that we love, that fill your nostril and start making you want to sing George Michael. That's what we're making today. Shall we get cracking? Okay! <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited to see what music I edit onto this. I've got a Ban Marie set up behind me. We all know what that is by now. It just allows us to slowly melt things without being too invasive and too, too harsh. So I'm going to melt in 185 grams of good quality dark chocolate. Into a bowl, we're going to mix up 185 grams of unsalted room temperature butter with 285 grams of light muscovado sugar. We're going to cream together these two items. Don't knock over the star of Bethlehem. Oh, I forget how forceful this Russell Hobbs is. If you're looking to make your butter and sugar mixture lovely and fluffy, it'll go a bit paler in colour. Why don't you give Now to this we're going to add in three eggs. Giving it a good whisk in between. We're now going to take our melted chocolate that should be pretty done by now. Yeah it is. Now I know this isn't vegan friendly, Ruth I'm sorry. But there are vegan brownies. If you click up here, you can go to that recipe. Thanks. Thanks. And all you need to do is add in the same spices and the same measurement of wine and you will have a beautiful mulled wine, vegan mulled wine brownie. I'm going to get whisking as I pour this in. Oh, it didn't go well. It's not going well. It's gone all over! <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's inside the machine. <laughs> if you have a friend, get them to help you. So we're now going to go in with our mulled wine. Well, our wine. So I've got a really nice, hearty red Shiraz here. And we do want a robust one because you do want to taste it. You don't want it to disappear in baking altogether. 100 mils, 85 grams of plain flour. You've got eggs in the mix. You don't need any more raising agents. 40 grams of cocoa powder. And then our spices. I mean, this platter could not be more Christmas if it tried. I'm gonna go in with pinches. When I say a small pinch, you're looking at like a quarter of a teaspoon. When I say a big pinch, you're looking at a half a teaspoon, okay? So we're gonna go big pinch of cinnamon, big pinch of ginger, small pinch of nutmeg, and a small pinch of clove. So let's get mixing. Such a lovely, airy, whipped consistency, which is absolutely beautiful. Now, I've got here a greased and lined baking tray. <laughs> Cinnamon. Oh, just like ribbons. Okay, let's spread that out, make it nice and even. Oh, Katie, no. No! <laughs> Every time I cook. Ugh. So to finish it off, just before it goes in the oven, I'm going to sprinkle it with some molden sea salt. This is going to go into an oven for 15 minutes at 200 degrees, or basically until you can see that the top is set. If it's got a nice wobble, that's fine, because we all want a gooey brownie, don't we? <laughs> Good luck. Oh my God, this place smells unreal. Look at it! Hey. Oh, it does have that incredible 
mulled wine smell. So you can see that darker center where it's almost still just that little bit undercooked with the crispy, cakey, spongy top. <laughs> Silky, rich, salty, delicious chocolate. That is unreal. Guys, I hope you give this a go. That is something really, really special. If you want to see more from me, then why not subscribe? I'm here every single Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Merry Christmas! I wonder if you can get drunk off this.